YouTube people, it's your boy. If this is your first time of watching my video, you're welcome to my channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you all who Ajala the Traveler was. Probably you've been wondering who this person was. Maybe he was even real. Or probably people are just teasing you. I'm sure if you're watching this video, probably your dad, your mom, or your friends have teased you and be like, ah, where are you coming from again? Eh? Ajala the Traveler. Yeah, why do you always wonder about? Hmm? Why? But if you are watching this video, I wonder about why? Why? Don't walk about them. Sit in one place. Okay. Now, back to the main reason why you are watching this video. Who Ajala the Traveler was? His full name was Alagisi Ajala and he was born to a Nigerian family in 1934. But back then, they were living in Ghana. And later on, while he was a child, he moved back to Nigeria. And for his primary school, he schooled at Boys Academy. And for his secondary school, he schooled at Ibadan Boys High School in Ibadan. Then later on, when he was 18, he moved to the United States of America, where he studied as a pre-medicine student. And now, for what is mainly known for, on the 12th of June 1952, Olavisi Ajalad decided to start a cross-country trip from Chicago to Los Angeles. Now, this trip covered about 2,280 miles in 28 days. Yes, this trip earned him a lot of recognition and accolades. I mean, it was covered by TV and even the newspaper. On the 10th of July, 1952, he arrived at City Hall in Los Angeles and there he was actually welcomed by the city mayor called Fletcher Boron back then. To tell you how important it was and the trip, like everyone was wondering, who was this guy having a cross-country trip from Chicago to Los Angeles on a bike? Oh yes, I forgot to say that, I'm so sorry. He traveled from Chicago to Los Angeles on a bike for 28 days and covered 2,280 miles. Now, after this trip of course he earned him a lot of recognition like i said and he had a lot of women around him and one of them was a chicago nurse named mary to bassett and she gave him his first child named oladi Pupo ajala he was born 21st of january 1953. due to a lot of allegation he was sentenced to a one year suspended jail time and because he was not keeping up with his studies, now mind you, the main reason why he went to America was to study. But because he wasn't keeping up with his studies, he was ordered to be deported back to Nigeria. Now, on hearing about his deportation, he actually threatened, he protested, to, uh, he protested against his deportation and threatened to kill himself by climbing a 80-foot tall radio tower. And fine. This act helped him because he was eventually deported but to London instead. Yeah, to London instead. And after some time in 1954, he came back to Chicago. He came back to Chicago after a year. And while he came back, he came back with a lady, a New York model called Amy Allen. Now, she was a New York model and they got married but they were married for just about a year because in 1955 she filed for divorce on the allegations of philandering and adultery after he got divorced in 1955 later that year he remarried again to a 19 year old london actress named joan simons now while he was married to joan he decided to embark on a journey in 1957 he decided he was going to travel around the world to 40 countries and he started this trip which and this trip was actually a basis for his book called an african abroad the book is more of a travelogue he traveled to different countries he visited countries like iran india jordan israel palestine egypt australia bulgaria romania hungary turkey to name a few now, like I said, this book was written more like a travelogue. And while it was in Sydney, where his book was published, he got married again to a lady named Joanne also. She also named Joanne and she had three children with him. And after this trip, he came back to Nigeria. And when he came back to Nigeria, of course, he was a great socialite. He was even an entertainment publicist. He worked with people like um, Sekiro Ainde. 
and is was praised notably by Ebenezer Obi in his music where he said you've traveled all around the world Adala traveled around the world and from this lyric people it does the word Adala the traveler became synonymous to wandering or probably extensive when you're just rolling about so those lyrics get a jaladi traveler and when people say someone is a jaladi traveler that means the person definitely loves wandering about or roaming about or can just go for days years without coming back and while he was in nigeria also he got married to aladia shadi and also had children with other women but unfortunately in the early days of 1999 Olamisa Jala suffered a stroke and due to inadequate care, he died February 2nd, 1999. So that's the story about Ajala the Traveler, whose name was Olabisi Ajala. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do give this video a thumbs up, okay? Subscribe to my channel, watch my videos. If you watch my videos and you don't subscribe to my channel, just know you are doing something wrong, okay? Subscribe to a baby girl's channel. <laughs> subscribe to a baby girl's channel. I love you all and I'll see my next video. Bye.